Welcome back, everybody, to episode 8 of this Let's Play series of Legend of Keepers as the Engineer. In our last episode, we set up a dungeon that we're just about to start. This will be our first time using our new rare jubako type creature that I, I don't know what that means. It must be from some kind of mythology, but it's basically a giant scary tree, and I'm excited to see how he does. So let's get started. Uh, magnetic field for barrier points. Definitely forgot to move my heroes around for this randomization again. I don't know how I forget immediately every time. It's one of my skills. Enraged. Very dangerous. Okay, so we want to do hypothermia. Slows everybody down. Ooh, big hit. Okay, I want to do Fear of the Dead. And then, let's see. This one does Nature Damage and Demoralized. This one does Double Damage if they are affected by Demoralized. So what's better off here? This actually might be better to do this one. This one will hit their morale pretty hard. But this one will apply more stacks of Demoralize, which becomes physical damage. So I think looking at the little health changes down there, I believe that this doing double damage is less important. So let's do this one, actually. We're just going to stack up this Demoralization, make them take large amounts of damage. We're still alive. Still alive. Okay, good. Get one more application of demoralization from this ice skeleton. Before he bites the dust. Our tree's gonna bite the dust. His arms fall off and he goes dormant. Okay. Okay, we could do targeting drone, make the next trap. Uh, but it's only f it's a, a debuff that lasts four turns. This will hit some morale thresholds, but unfortunately, s they're not super. Like, oh, this one's already used this. That's good. Maybe we go with the poison and chemical cloud, or do we do barrier points on our next group? I think the poison's good because we're going to stack up the poison pretty high. So let's do this. Guy in the middle is in danger of death soon. This guy sucks because he's relatively fast, and then when he goes, he makes everybody else slow. So, you know, these guys are going to drop. Well, I guess it won't matter here, but it did in the first fight. Some more poison. Some more poison. He's going to die on his next turn. He's got one health. Oh, it's too bad. Ouch. So I think we do this one here because we don't need this to bounce to the next target because he's already dead. So let's just apply two more stacks of poison to each one of these front and back. He's also going to go down his next turn. Oh my god, one hit. Oh, okay. It's another turn. Good. That means... I think... Oh, what's more important here? This does more damage, but this applies two more stacks of poison. It's probably about the same difference at this point. Cool. 18 blood, only 40 gold, but we knew we weren't going to get much. We've got 
Mama Mammon Brigitta's Bone. The, we don't have a ton of skeletons, so I don't think I'm going to do this. Um, two bird stone. Attacks targeting only the hero at the front. Deal 30% damage to the hero behind them. Demonic Pendant. Applies Terrified 5 to all heroes when a demon is defeated. Morale taken from attacks and traps increased by 50%. I don't like any of these. Uh, I think we go with the two bird stone. We have three or four skeletons, but we also, like, this run through, our master is capable of getting three different types of racial units. It's going to make it harder to have skeleton groups, unless we go out of our way, which may not be the most efficient. So this will always be something that can be used, even though we have a lot of AoE things, but we also have seen some of the individual attacks can be quite strong. This might push them up over the edge a little bit and make them even better. So we'll go with this one. Okay, motivation changes. We have a siege. We could rent out a trap. A trainer. Ooh, we might do trainer. Oh, the, t the collectors are coming up. We can give them blood or our life and get some more money. So let's spend all of our money at the trainer. Uh, we could train up our tree. It's more health, more resistances, more power. It's pretty good. Let's check out some of these other options. We do like this passive. Do like this character. More health would be good. Let's train up our tree. Let's train up this one. And let's hit this one as well. We've got lots of level twos now. Okay. Well, this one gives my master barrier points each time the golem attacks. That's pretty cool. Definitely look into that. We need 300 for that. What's the exclamation point? Oh, yeah, because some people... Yeah, you have. Oh, I can't change this right now because we're in an event. Okay, leave. So we can go here. Make sure we get that person out so we don't forget. In fact, some of these characters, lots of these characters, need a break. That'll work. Let's do an event. The ninth door. Golthor is asking for blood. Quench his thirst, and he will send one of his most dreadful avatars into the mortal world. Summons a random monster of demon type. Minus 200 life by choosing the ritual. I think we pay the ritual, because I think I'd rather have the blood for the gold in the next one. I don't know. I think it's the same amount of... I think it's 200 life from them. Maybe I give... Maybe it's less blood here than it is for the gold... Let's do the offering. We'll find out. So it's 25 blood. What did I get? Uh, uh, this one. Oh. Oh. A second one of these. Weird. Okay. So then the collectors, it would have been 25 blood. So it's sort of the same difference. I was going to lose 200 health either way. So we'll accept that. Lose 200 health and get some gold. Um, let's do an event. While walking through the corridors, you notice a monster waiting for a job interview. He's just sitting in there waiting. You could hire the candidate right now without the intermediaries. On the other hand, what makes you, what makes them think they can come in uninvited? So we can un intimidate them, get 10 tiers if we scare them away or if we just hire them. I think we'll just hire them. It's a pretty cheap price, I gotta say. So veterans coming up. There's a master bonus in it for us. A hefty sum of gold, and it's a four difficulty. I basically just always do the hardest ones unless I'm close to death, which is not really something that's been happening yet. Missions will get harder, though. So I think we send home, you know... Well, okay, let's take a look here. In the first group, fire damage in the back and the front. This one does fire damage in the middle. Ugh. Demoralized. We definitely want our trap guy in the first group of monsters so that he can get the enhanced trap to the next one. I can't believe we haven't managed to upgrade any traps yet. It's kind of strange. We've just not had money every time. We should, we should go out of our way to save some money up for that. Our new character does air damage and morale, and does mor or does morale damage and tiredness. Damage dealt reduced by 20%. That's pretty cool. Low health, though. So maybe we'll put... What do we want to do? These three will all have max motivation after this fight, so that's good. So we can bring a few extras in here and have some choices. So 
Applies poison if they're affected by two penalties. This one can do the AoE poison. This one can do the demoralize. So maybe we put these three together. Actually, let's do the stronger one. And then we'll leave all these guys in here for like, to work together. Put him with there in case we need a tank. Okay. And let's hit the veterans. Okay, dungeon layout is trap, monster, spell, trap. So we could actually double up on the effectiveness of this trap. We could do easy target, damage taken from traps, increased by 100%. We could also, you know, when this guy dies, he'll make the next trap deal plus 100% damage. So we could actually make them take, like, basically triple damage from a trap. But they don't do much flat damage. Kind of sucks. We'll try it anyway. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. It might end up just being this extra poison. So if this group is going to apply morale and poison. So we might want to do nature weakness. No, not much nature damage in here. Well, not bad, though. So maybe we do nature weakness. Let's actually check out these heroes real quick. We have a sorceress. Replaces one of her penalties with a bonus at the start of her turn once. Ugh, I hate that. And she's faster than this guy, so she'll... Dang it. Always throwing a monkey wrench in that plan. Oops. Ooh, sorry. I, I probably shouldn't say that with... Sorry, Lyra. Um, we have a scholar. Fire damage. Morale loss reduced. Okay. Uh, applies broken armor when attacking. Fire damage in the back. Dodges the effect of the first trap. Oh my gosh, why are adventurers so annoying? Air damage in the front. Air and fire in the front. It's got to be this one. And fire in the back. Uh-oh, nobody's good against that. We'll have to use this one. And then we want our skeleton. Lewis, the skeleton scientist. Spell room, trap room, got to be poison cloud. Okay, we have air and fire in the front. Definitely uh, Visago here. And fire in the back. He gets dodge in the back, so he'll, he'll avoid the first attack, which is pretty cool. And then, who's better here? This guy will only put fire weakness on one or maybe two of them. No, no, she's resistant, so it's not going to be not going to work super well. But this guy's level one. Um, applies poison. So this character will have poison, and that's it. So I think we, what do we do? Not resistant. So I guess we still put this guy in and he can spread the stacks of poison from this character to this character. And then after that, we'll kind of have trouble applying more of it. But I think that's better than this character who doesn't super synergize well. If I was going to be doing morale damage, I'd want to be doing it earlier in the dungeon. So it has a chance of causing them to take more damage. But at this point, I think the 60 health guy, you know, level one doesn't synergize. I don't think this is right for this character at this point. So let's get started. Okay, we can do toxins for poison. I think that's what we want to do. She avoided the first attack. Fire column for burn in the front. Fear the dead for morale and demoralized. I think this is what we want to do. Very, very little morale damage, though. And you've got hundreds. Let's do that anyway. And then... Yeah, we'll do this one. It's only going to affect two of them with the extra poison stacks, but I think... That's okay. Pl 
Buy some more poison. Uh, we're dead. Yep. Too much damage. Alright. Maybe I hit him with the chemical clouds since some of them, two of them are still weak to nature. So will do extra damage, apply more poison. This trap is enhanced right now, but I think making that trap do, you know, 10 more damage isn't worth as much as all of this. This is morale damage, but they're, they're so high on morale. I think we just do this. Plus, I get more poison stacks now. They look like they're feeling a bit sick. This one's dead on our next turn. Pretty sure 30 nature damage with a minus 15. Oh, maybe not. Let's just make sure. Oh, we can kill this one, and then this guy would target the, instead of the center, target the one on the front. So let's do that. Um, this one does the most flat damage, so we'll do that. Okay, easy peasy. 19 blood, 214 gold. And then we can upgrade either have 10 extra armor for our master. We can upgrade one of her attacks that she has when she fights, uh, when the heroes get to her. Um, or we can upgrade her chemical cloud spell to do a little, two more nature damage, but one more stack of poison. I think this is the obvious choice, especially in this particular playthrough. It seems very focused on poison and... and Basically chemistry. So let's go with that one. It's pretty cool. Okay, we've got some motivation changes. Doctor, I, I'm not real worried about the doctor, but I don't really want to spend any money right now. I guess we could use a second trap or third trap. Let's go to the merchant. We have the furnace. Oh, I've never used this monster. This monster is a like a, I had to redeem a code to get this monster. Um, this is a Grief Weaver. She does poison damage in the front and morale damage and applies poison 3. Or an AoE morale and terrified. Cool. Too bad we... Yeah, we, we, we had an opportunity to go for a, a morale build here, but we got that weird artifact that makes us do physical damage with the debuff. So it's a little harder to do the morale, but she is pretty cool. We also have a head slinger that applies demoralize to everyone and does some physical and morale damage. Or we have another trap, applies burn and some fire damage. Low amount of damage, but burn is 5%. So, you know, that's 10% of their life as fire. And depending on resistances, that trap can be quite strong. It upgrades really well, too. So I think we, we might buy both of these. And then I think we'll leave her for this particular playthrough. Um, let's plunder. I want to make sure I have enough money for trap upgrades if that ever becomes an option. Upgrade a trap at the production workshop. We don't get to choose, but we have three good ones right now. Find a monster, find an artifact. Let's upgrade a trap. Your volunteers have forced an engineer to make a trap for them and to serve as guinea pig for the trap. Test results. Highly conclusive. They have even brought a researcher back who has been spared in exchange for a trap upgrade. They have emerged unscathed. Trap upgraded. Our poisonous plant is now level 2. Excellent. Let's take a look at the changes to our poisonous plant. Looks like it does 5 more nature damage and 1 more stack of nature weakness. Pretty good. That nature weakness of, uh, for 5 turns is going to help quite a bit against all this poison damage we're doing. A seminar... Uh, a workout or a sanctuary. This will buff our next dungeon in our favor. 
This will make the master stronger, and this will, I think this is how you can train up monsters. So let's do a seminar. The monstrous resources manager feels that your employees are at the end of their rope. As such, she is suggesting you different activities to stimulate them. We could do a magic initiation. Uh, increase res uh, resistances increase by 20 for 15 weeks, and it costs me blood and tears. <laughs> Self-serve buffet. Plus one motivation to everybody for 15 blood. How are we doing on motivation? You don't really need that. Or Metallurgy Workshop. We get armor increased by 40 for 15 weeks for 15 blood and 5 tears. Well, do we have worse... Oh, this is all resistances and this is just armor. But the armor is a lot. Probably this one. That seems pretty strong. 20 resistances to all different kinds of elements other than armor. Feels like that could help quite a bit. Let's do that. We'll have a magic initiation for our employees. Siege, we could rent out one of our traps for some gold. I think we might take that since we have a spare trap right now. So let's do the siege. And we'll rent out the, the only 18 extra gold for the level 2 trap. No thanks. Let's do the, um, the furnace is the one that I don't need the most. So let's rent that one out for 100 gold. And then we've got another group of adventurers coming up. We have a difficulty three, two difficulty threes with disaster rooms. One gives me a master bonus and one gives me a trap. I think we want the trap. I'm just feeling like there's got to be a trap out there that will be really, really exciting. And I just haven't quite found it yet. So I think we might do this one. Now let's double check our monsters. We still have our resistances. So let's send these two home, make sure their motivation is high. In fact, we could send these ones home as well. We still have all these extra choices. Wow, look at all these high motivation employees. Oh my god, it keeps going. There's so many choices. So we have, wow, we have two rares now available at once. That's pretty nice. We could do like a fire team. Where's the other fire one? He's resting. So we have, this person wants to have multiple types of debuffs in the same group with them. So we've got demoralized and like poison. So these three together, these three over here, and then we'll choose from these ones um, for this first room. And I think we'll take a look at that dungeon. We'll set that all up on the next episode because we are all out of time. So um, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you're enjoying my series, please leave me a like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If there's anything in particular you want to see, uh, please leave me a comment, and I, I'd love to get to it if I can. I do these episodes in batches, so by the time this series goes up, you know, I've completed the whole thing, but I definitely take those comments and suggestions into consideration for the next series I do or the next game I play or, or what have you. So thanks for joining me again, and I hope to see you in the next episode.